Hi, I'm Deb Chambers, and I am here with my good friend, Danae Chen, and she is the director and the creator of the film, Have You Seen Terry? And it's been nominated for multiple awards, and I'm so proud to know her and, and have been, uh, uh, what do you call it, a witness to the work from the beginning to the end, and I just wanted to share some of it with you today. So, Danae, welcome to my Thank talk you. show. Thank you. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about this film and what motivated you to do it? Yes, so Have You Seen Terry is my first feature-length documentary, and it talks about the connection between homelessness and mental illness. And it also follows my family's journey to find my Aunt Terry. Mm -hmm. So you'll see me going through the process of um, going through family history, following in Aunt Terry's footsteps, and also talking to people involved with social work, mm -hmm. homeless, um, homelessness. Um, we also talk to women who are and currently um, who are homeless. So we talk to different people yeah. involved in the subject, but it's also a personal story mm -hmm. as we talk about my family's history, mm -hmm. as we go through the reasons of why um, Aunt Terry was led to the path she was led to. So it's an informative documentary, it's also personal. And what I hope people learn is that if you have a family member like my Aunt Terry, mm -hmm. it's not too late to start looking for them. And you can also learn how can you help them because it is a very challenging situation mm -hmm. that families find themselves in. So how do you help a loved one who is suffering from mental illness or who is experiencing homelessness. So what I hope is that people will come out on October 10th. Mm -hmm. That's the next public screening. It's a free screening happening at Creative Suitland. That's Thursday, October 10th from 6 to 8.30. And you can find the link to reserve your tickets in the description of this video. Awesome. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big proponent of people finding their purpose. And so many times we think that purpose is something that's gonna jump up on you and uh, you don't know what it is. But I have found that purpose is evolving throughout your day, throughout your life. And that God is always pushing you toward purpose. And purpose is in where you are right now. Uh, and what your, his plan for your life is gonna be embedded in what you're doing now. Right, and I'm saying this because Danae and I were together for 12 years yes. at a homeless shelter. Mm -hmm. um, and so here she is now uh, directing and producing a film, uh, researching homelessness and mental health issues. And it is birthed out of her own personal story, but God has uniquely utilized where he had her for 12 years in, in working to help homeless uh, folk. And, and I just, I just love how God doesn't waste anything. And, um, and I think it's important for people to recognize that this wasn't something easy for you to do. Did it take you, what did it take for you to, to, do, to do something like this? Well, I, I definitely felt led to do it. And I had support, um, the support of, of my father, the support yeah. of another aunt and uncle to get this film done. So. While not everybody in the family was supportive of this film, those three really gave me the foundation and information I needed mm -hmm. to get this uh, film done. And um, maybe about a month after I started production on this film, my father passed away. And he was my number one supporter mm -hmm. for this film. And so after a time, um, you know, of, of grieving and just going through that process, I was even more determined to get this film done mm -hmm. because one of the last things he said to me was he wanted to continue searching for his sister. Oh, have you seen Terry? Something that's birthed out of her purpose, something that's birthed out of a personal experience and something that we can all relate to. Um, as quiet as it's kept, each of our families has some touch some area where mental health challenges has been a factor or homelessness has been a factor. And, um, and we need to know this. It's something that we got to talk about, especially as it disproportionately affects people of color 
and women in particular, mental health issues and homelessness can be a very trying and touchy subject and something that we don't talk about. And so I'm just grateful for you uh, taking up the mantle and following this. I know your dad would be so very, very proud of yes. you. We're so <laughs> proud of you. So as she said, the next showing is on the 10th of October, Thursday. Link is in the um, notes, the description. And you're also going to screen it at our church at Calvert County Baptist Church on yes. November 17th. Sunday, November 17th, yes. So if you can't see it on the 10th, you can see it on the 17th in, at our church, Calvert County Baptist Church. So my friend today, I love you. I love I'm so you proud too. of you. Congratulations Thank for the you. great work. Y'all, make sure you go see this work. We got to support one another. Thank you.